Uh, why not? Why not? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, back with another video today. Just leaving the good old gym. It's sprinkling right now a little bit, you know, so I'm getting my little, my natural cleanse, should I say. <laughs> Let this rain water fall on my skin. Not sure if that's a good idea down here in South Florida, but did sweat out some impurities. Do my little yoga thing now, you know, it's become like a, a daily thing now. Like I always stretch and do yoga. <laughs> But hey, man, it helps uh, extend the muscles and stretch the muscles, helps with the breathing. Things that people typically see someone doing that may not look normal for, you know, their particular area. You know, of course, me being a, a black guy from the hood, people that I grew up with look at me now and they're like, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this man. <laughs> so um, it's not too bad spider webs yeah um but yeah man walking to and from the earth getting my good exercise on so you know trying to maintain my physical you know trying to maintain my physical had me some nice seafood earlier right if i'm gonna spoil myself i gotta make sure i keep my body up and right so yeah I think we've uh, uploaded over uh, 300 videos so far outside of the tarot and, you know, just randoms and things like that. I think I got a nice collection of videos. Hmm. I was going to say maybe I should start taking things more serious. I'm not sure how more serious I can take things, you know, upgrading and leveling up, you know, camera equipment maybe uh some new furniture as well man you know these youtubers you know i'm different i don't go on people's page and steal their content sorry to bring that up again <laughs> but i have to steal people's content you know I, it's called investing in self <laughs> go on freaking amazon or go to walmart or best buy and purchase a nicer camera so I can upload HD instead of these cell phone black border videos, right? That's different from going on somebody's page and stealing their content and trying to make like it's yours. It's actually going and investing in self. You know? <laughs> Dumping money back into the friggin' I was gonna say the community, but the I guess the continent, right? They try to make us seem like we don't contribute to society. We don't pay taxes. We don't do all this. Let me tell you, capitalism is a mug. And with black people being so enslaved and needing to find all these different things to make themselves feel better, Gucci this and Gucci that, I get so upset and roll my eyes when I'm out in public at the mall, passing by the Apple store, these Gucci stores. You know, you know, enjoy yourself, but don't enslave yourself. You know, they do all these, these extra things. Then people will look at me like I'm some type of demon or a devil worshiper, or is he really an angel? What is this guy? How old is this guy? <laughs> is this an old man or is this a young boy? Like, very strange indeed, you know, no matter how much you try and help people. See, when I came around with my happy face and I was the good guy and you know, I always try to be positive for the most part. You know, people take advantage of that. <laughs> so then when you become the bad guy, people's opinion of you sort suddenly change because they fear you. They hung Jesus up on the Christ because they wasn't afraid of him. But I bet they won't do that to the devil. Just like all these N-words out here, they want to shoot up the hood, but they won't pull their guns out on the police, though. So, you know, different strokes, different folks. <laughs> it's a lady. It's a freaking lady sitting in her car smoking a blunt right now. But you would arrest me as a man and lock me up as a man, right? 
But the women get to do whatever they want to do. Parked out in the, in the, in front, on Front Street with a blunt bigger than what I smoke. Sitting in her car, chilling, texting on her phone. See what I mean? But you wouldn't have believed me if I wouldn't have recorded it. You probably ain't even get it on video. <laughs> I probably ain't even get it. But, um, you know, different strokes for different folks. And it's not such a bad thing. It's a freaking herb. She's sitting in her. She, I've seen her before, to be honest with you. I've just never spoken to her. I'm not sure if she's homeless, but I've seen her in that exact same spot before over the past year. So I'm, I'm pretty sure she probably sleeps in that car and that's her spot every day. And her way of dealing with things is smoking marijuana. <laughs> Ironically, when I got out of jail for that one night, freaking blemish on my record. I actually saw another dude that was homeless <laughs> with his shades on, carrying his book bag around, rolling up on the bus. So these are the way our people deal with things versus, you know, not saying that that's right. But versus someone running around knocking someone up upside the head because they don't you know whatever the case may be they don't they're, they're not able to cope with certain things <laughs> like again if you want to end a war in a country freaking drop a whole bunch of herb <laughs> y'all import herb so much in this country <laughs> y'all sneak it in so much and then y'all arrest people for selling it go drop a freaking herb bomb on top of one of these countries and make everybody bliss out <laughs> Yeah, my mind works in strange ways sometimes. <laughs> but again, I'm not an uh, evil person. I just like to polarize things to make people understand a little bit better. You know, the greatest teachers are pain and embarrassment from, you know, at least from my perspective. You know, I went through a liver transplant, plant, one of the biggest pains a person can go through in their life. Women think that it's painful to go through childbirth. <laughs> It's rare you find men out there that's been through things worse than you. Three times worse than you. You know? Again, folks, twice, three times my age haven't gone through the things that I've gone through in my life. I'm not sitting here and brag, but when I talk about adding value and what do I bring to the table and what type of experience do I have and why do I act like this? Why I'm not out running the streets like everyone else? It's a whole different vibe. I'm telling a whole different bedtime story here. So, again, <laughs> I'm not literally Lucifer. <laughs> you know anything about astrology, the Libra sign? <laughs> Do your own research. <laughs> I can't call myself Lucifer, but half you fools running around idolizing people that's not even in your culture bruce lee's and mariah carey's and all these other people's <laughs> like it's okay to be yourself <laughs> at the end of the day when i when i come out of the gym after a freaking two-hour workout i come right out of the gym and take my shirt off as i'm walking home <laughs> don't get offended or triggered by something like that you do not I have to get upset about something like that. But yeah, that's all it is, man. People call themselves a lot of things. People name themselves a lot of things. I think these rappers are moving out of the age when they naming themselves Lil. <laughs> I think Big Sean killed the game when he came out and called himself Big, even though he was the smallest dude out there. <laughs> but uh, what else do I want to talk about before I reach home? God, like spider webs. I don't walk into a spider web. Oh, these spiders. Oh, man. The Lord. Been, uh, got over my fear of spiders a long time ago. It's just, again, <laughs> I imagine a person with eight, eight arms and eight legs <laughs> walking up to me, asking me for a hug. Hex, no? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Eight-Legged Freaks was an interesting movie for me. Arachnophobia, uh, actually a movie that I um, that I um, introduced my BM to. You know, she is cultured in a way, you know. Thank God she likes horror movies. But yeah, I try not to talk too much about that whole situation either, you know. Got a whole exorcism. <laughs> got a whole exorcism, man. You gotta, gotta reiki out these people's energy sometimes. And, um, you know, 
you'll see how strong you really are when your boundaries and your morals and your structures get challenged and it's time for you to evolve sink or swim and my advice is for people not to be joining losing teams out there <laughs> you have faith in yourself and you have confidence in yourself and the underdog always can find that key to victory but you know again with all these communities and foreigners you know flooding into the flooding into america off the die off the backs of the african americans that built this country again <laughs> we don't want people joining our team <laughs> if you're not gonna cheerlead for us <laughs> that goes for all of you diasporans around the globe we are one <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it i think i'm done ranting again this was an impromptu video going back to the days where i used to shoot in the nighttime in my backyard this is a little bit too dark though right walking down the street <laughs> no lights on any takers anybody want to rock my snack box because I just came from the gym and I'm probably very intimidating <laughs> right now. Again, I just have this very strange way of swelling up really big after I go to the gym. Very interesting. But uh, yeah, man. These, these things that we come into, these ways that we find ourselves or we finally... We finally make something of ourselves and this could be for anyone we finally make something of ourselves and then you start to question it again as if it's not meant for you um, you know that whole I'm not worth it that whole self-fulfilling prophecy of doom you know the doom and gloom of things you know the loom of fate um, Oh, they must have been up on the roof taking pictures of the work. Yeah, I'm losing my train of thought, guys. <laughs> sometimes the memory is like superhuman and then sometimes the memory is not so good. That's one of the symptoms of a spiritual awakening. <laughs> sometimes it's a gift and a curse, man. You're just blocking things out. That's the thing with people in memory. Um, what really hurts you or really binds you or what really is people. People sit and think about, they don't release their memories. They let memories from 10 years, 20 years hold on to them. So imagine reincarnation. Imagine if, because it's real, but imagine if we actually could remember our past life, our life before that, our life from a million years ago. You know how painful it, it would be for a young man or a young woman to have all the memories of 10 past lives when they 10 grandmas died when they 10 brothers stole from them the, all the other lifetimes where they were probably eaten alive by animals all these memories imagine and that's why when we die and that's the whole conversation about reincarnation oh why don't we remember things and whoa, whoa, whoa. you couldn't handle 10 lifetimes worth of pain and these, again, these are the things that I think about. <laughs> these are the things that I think about as a scientist, as a spiritualist, and this and that. I'm not here doing voodoo and all the, well, you know, that's ancient African practices as well. Again, the Jamaicans are the closest thing to the ancient Africans. <laughs> all, that, all that down there in the Caribbean, man, <laughs> it is not muddied by, uh, you know, this U.S. Uh, Western culture as much. And that's why they're held back so much, you know. Jamaica can't even use their cash crops to bring in uh, capital, uh, capital for the country. They really don't like Haiti because those are uh, very, uh, very uh, warlike, or, or they're they're very strong. You know, they're not um, angry people for the most part. They're just very expressive and emotional. Um, you know me, the Bahamians and whatnot. We are the cool ones. <laughs> I'll be a cool old man one day, sitting on the, sh sitting on my porch with some shades, <laughs> watching the sun go up and down, telling more stories and mixing more herbs. Um, and yeah, you know, 
not to go on and on and on and on we all have our place in this world that have our place in society take advantage of that role stop being a hater 